Um, okay, you ready to play something? Oh, um, yeah, all right. I'm ready as I'm ever going to be. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> Your challenger, we have a challenger for you. I know. Is Joshna <laughs> Maharaj. Woo! Joshna, who unfortunately a lot of you can't see, but she's standing right here. Whoa. Hi, Joshna. Hello, Hi. hello. Be kind, be kind. For sure. Thank you so much for joining us. (laughs) So, um, Joshna, you were a chef. I can't tell if having a chef's fridge is going to be an advantage or disadvantage. Right, but full disclosure, I feel like it's important to say. Yeah. Maybe. So, who knows? It might just be like beer and olives. Yeah, exactly. It might be full of like (laughs) gardens of delights, or it might be like, oh, I put my shoes in the fridge because I don't cook at home ever. Leftover kimchi from five years ago. (laughs) Yeah. Which but would it, probably be delicious, but anyway. I could work with that. Fermented. I don't know if I couldn't work with the shoes, but I could work with the kimchi. It would be fermented, <laughs> extra fermented. Exactly. Yeah, you are, kimchi, yeah. But you are a chef also, not just a chef, but you're also an activist. I am. Um, around the idea of social gastronomy. What, is, yeah. what does that mean? So social gastronomy is the idea that chefs can do what we do, cooking food, doing it, but with the real intentional purpose of creating social change. Uh, So using our kitchens as platforms to do things differently, be it labor practices in the kitchen, thinking about sustainability and sourcing, and um, and in the case of the work that I do, thinking about the populations of people that you serve. Hmm. And so there's it's a rich opportunity. There's lots of things uh, that our communities need us, uh, and I've really learned that over the course of my career. Yeah, and like feeding people from a food bank. Amazing. Good food and feeding really them with dignity. Food. Honest, good food, right? Yeah. Real, wholesome things. Uh, and that translates into the work that I do now is public institutions. So I've just finished writing a book, which will be out in the world in May. It's called Take Back the Tray. And it is my uh, blueprint, hopefully, for the revolution that we can wage in hospitals, schools, uh, and prisons if we ever let the conversation get there. Let's say that. Yay! Right on. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. So thank you for that. Yeah. And now I'm going to be a little bit invasive. Yep. I got go it. Go into your refrigerator. Yeah. Oh, actually, no, wait, wait, time out. I have to give the rules. Okay. Here are the rules, okay. okay? So here are the rules. Joshna will have to give you five ingredients of her choice that actually exist in her refrigerator. Yeah. Melissa, you get a few things for free. Okay. You get water, salt, pepper. Those are free. You get one so. fat... <laughs> You get one fat that Joshna actually has to have on hand, and then you can, can ask for three additional ingredients, but she has to actually have them. Okay. And then you have to come up with your dish, <laughs> and Maddie and Suresh will judge you. And they'll decide if it's good enough. Vari- <laughs> with varying <laughs> levels and, of And we're doing it generosity. all by imagination, too. Yeah. Which is the best bit, right? Okay. No lying. All imagination. Right do I need a pen and paper? I don't know. I've never played this game. Let me have the pen and okay. paper you might. just in you case. Might. I might? Okay, got might. it. Okay, Joshua, what's... I mean, she's I'm... written 43 cookbooks. She probably has a recipe. <laughs> with whatever you memorize you're... five ingredients. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but the, yeah, but I have my notes there. I have my notebook. I have my computer. You know, right. on the fly here. Okay. Okay, what's so... In your, what's in your fridge? In the fridge for you. Broccoli stems and leaves. Okay, I love it. But honestly, the stems and the... Like, those are my favorite parts. That's... that's yeah. <laughs> uh, I've got some eggs... Okay. Oh, you thank you for the eggs. Uh, <laughs> I have maple syrup. You, mi- wait, you Respectable have what? Canadian, oh, I have maple wait, syrup. Wait. What do you have? Maple, maple syrup. syrup. Uh, maple syrup. Okay, I have to use sort of all always these in there. one dish. Okay. Um, I have organic carrots. Carrots. Uh, yeah, thank you, Maddie. <laughs> They're organic. What about carrots? That means oh, they oh, taste wait, amazing. What? Maple syrup. Okay, wait. Yeah. Okay. yeah. This is some real whole And then uh, purple, and then uh, and then the fifth I have for you is uh, dried chantel mushrooms. Chantel mushrooms. Dried? Dried. 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 Oh, God. oh god. All right. Dried chantel mushrooms. From our lovely okay. friends. At wait, Forbes. where do you get dried chantel mushrooms? I've never even seen oh, dried chantel mushrooms. Oh, I should buy you some. Really? Forbes Wild Foods. They're they're foraged. Oh my god. Here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, it's a very it's a very Canadian ingredient. If I bring those back on the plane, will I get in trouble? Yeah. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. No. I really want those dried chantel mushrooms. You, I, you should have them, too. Okay, okay, okay. we'll talk. We'll talk. All right, we'll talk after. Okay, and then I get salt and pepper and water. Yep. And I can ask for three things. Okay, so the I think the trick here for me is the maple syrup 
is sweet, right? So I want to use it very sparingly. The broccoli, the broccoli is a bit of a, you know, that's the flavor because you've got the cruciferous, you know, cabbage flavor, which I love, but right. is it going to work with the carrots, the maple syrup, and the dried chanterelles? So I'm going to need something to bring everything together. I get a fat. You get a fat. I get a fat. So what fat is going to do I, okay, butter, olive oil, something that you will have in your you will have That's in your the house. Thing. So I ha you have to have it. Pemmican uh, fat. Pe no, she's not going to have that. I don't know. Are you? Wouldn't that be amazing? If you did, I would I never like, even. I actually have some caribou fat. That would do be Do you have amazing. some caribou fat? Do you I have do any? Not. I mean, could she have duck fat? I mean, I feel like, sa seriously, like, I feel like savory duck fat with all of these things would be amazing. But if I get it wrong, do I get another fat or I blow my fat? I can't have no, fat. You get fat. You get no, no, you have to land on one I that another, I have. Okay, okay, okay. The, the point of the game is not to be like the magic eight ball. Okay. Like, <laughs> do you, she have, all right, do you have duck fat or chicken fat or any kind of poultry fat? I, uh, I have duck fat. <gasps> However, okay. uh, asterisk on I have duck fat, it is a, from a duck that I rubbed masala on. Oh, even better. So oh. it's masala duck oh, fat. This is good because this has hey, spice. Yo. Proper I was, girl okay, duck fat. I was gonna uh, ask for yeah, three. It's masala duck fat. That is perfect. Um, okay. But and you put I'm, that in the cookbook, masala duck fat. I, I might actually. Yeah, you know, amazing. this is another thing. Whenever I do these events, I always get recipe ideas from people. This is how there I keep go. doing it. So like this might actually get published. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we'll do, we'll, we'll do a, a joint recipe byline. Nice, nice. Um, okay, now I want, you know what I want? I want a starch here. Okay. I want either something like potatoes or I want, I want a grain, like I want rice. I have a big bag of basmati rice. Okay, so I've got my rice. <laughs> Again, brown girl staple. <laughs> yeah, I, okay. Do you think Joshna Maharaj has <laughs> rice right? in her house? Right, you think she got rice in her house? I have to say, I kind of knew that was like a ringer when I said that. Like, she would have been another awesome fat option rice. for you, yes. <laughs> If you uh, didn't, yes. yes, that would be I have a big bag of basmati rice. Okay, because I'm thinking, um, I'm thinking a kind of, I'm seeing like a biryani kind of dish. I'm seeing oh, yeah. like, you know, something come together. Um, the dried chanterelles, though. So, okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going, all right, so wait, and I get to ask for three more things? Uh, yeah, two more two things. More. Two more things, because I have my rice. Okay, do you have any cured meat, like a bacon or a salami or a... No. Okay, so I can't have that. None of that. Okay, so I, I'm striking out on that. Um, but you have the dried chanterelles, actually, all the so I really sausage. didn't yeah. even need that. Um, okay, do you have, I need an herb. Do you have, um, I'm gonna go with cilantro. Fresh? Fresh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Okay, and then I need an acid. Okay, and oh. I really hope you have limes. Do you have limes? I don't. There's no four limes on the counter, though. What? I got four lemons on the counter. Can I, can I, can I? Zero use limes. Can I use a lemon? Four lemons. Lemon, can I use a lemon? No, you have, wait. I think you can. Yeah. That's yeah. an ingredient in our home. All right. Okay, cool, yeah. because I got the, I. It's not, this is not exclusively just my fridge, because okay. what are the dry chanterelles doing in the fridge? That is a good point, because they would get yeah. humid and they would be sick. It would not be right. That would yeah. be good. Okay, so I'm, okay, so I'm gonna, we're going to do a big, beautiful rice dish. So, oh, shoot, you know, I also want, I want nuts, too, but I ran out of ingredients. Okay, in your minds, you're going to imagine the garnish, which is not there in the dish. I'm putting, I'm suggesting, Melissa. I'm cheating, I'm cheating, aren't I? Okay, no nuts, no nuts, skip it, skip it, skip it, skip it. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> here we go. Um, I'm going to take the duck fat, and I'm going to... Fry those broccoli leaves and stems until they're super crispy. Oh, we have no onions and garlic. Oh, I'm a jerk. I forgot the <laughs> onions and garlic. Okay, we're gonna do it anyway. And then we're gonna and then we're gonna um, add the carrots too to that. And we're gonna sauté the rice, right? And we're gonna make a broth with our dried chanterelles. We're gonna oh. make a delicious broth. And we're gonna add she a touch of maple syrup just to kind of balance the dried chanterelles, but mm. not too much so it's sweet. And then we're gonna add that and we're gonna cook that into this, you know beautiful pilaf and then we're going to add we're going to fold in and we've got we'll add our rice which we have sauteed we're going to fold in tons of cilantro like that, i hope you have that much cilantro i, was gonna, I have one like a bowling I ball size i want a bowling size. ball size. Size. i want a yes. i want an entire giant bunch of cilantro we're going to fold that in at the end and then we're going to add lemon to the whole thing to just bring out the flavor we have the masala spices in i get that for free i get my spices this for is free. The, it's a two for one that okay that and that is going to be dinner tonight what do you guys think yay or nay yeah, sure. Wait, wait. Oh, the eggs. Was, Even better, ask. we fry we fry eggs in more duck fat, and we serve yeah, a fried egg on top. Wow. Uh, no, so
so it's working for me. It's working for me. Do you have the broth separate in the pilaf, or you use that? You made that broth first, and then you cook? no. I, I made the broth first, and then I put it into the. That's what I used to make and the you pilaf. Took the tri- and yeah. the chanterelles are in there. Chanterelles are in the broth. Yep. Wow. Yeah. I mean, if it had, so it'd be rice better with broccoli. And then it's, the, the, it's how's the, it's the broccoli stems are they cut up, or they, that's they're, just like a giant? You got one whole just one. <laughs> no, no, they're one they're cut up and fried. She didn't get a knife, right? It's like a lamb shank. shank. <laughs> stick. Yeah, the broccoli stem is like a vegetarian one. lamb shank. Yeah, <laughs> right. It's been yeah. Like, yeah. Right. It's been crispy. Fried crispy. It's crispy, crispy with wow. the leaves. They're crispy. Crispy. Yeah, and I've cut so I've cut up the the stem, and I've done the leaves first, and I did them in the duck fat. I take them out. And they go on top, crunchy, crunchy. Crunchy, crunchy. Oh, I like that. She got her garnish. Yeah. But garnish. here's the thing. If I had the things I'm missing here, we know this is true. I should have had an onion. I should have had garlic. And I should have had some nuts. But right. aside from that, does it pass muster? I think it passes. I mean, I'm worried about the maple syrup a little bit. I know. Bit. Yeah, yeah. Me but too. That maple syrup is tough. Sounds like a kitchen like staff meal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Totally. Give me like PTSD, man. <laughs> But you know what? I feel like she, I feel like Joshna, you gave me the gift of the duck fat with the masala. So spices. So I feel like we are, we are good here. I think it sounds beautiful. (laughs) That sounds like a winner. I think so. (laughs) Oh, you know what I could have done? That's a cover of a cookbook, I feel. You know what I should have done? I should have taken those carrots and boiled them in the maple syrup until they were glazed. Duck fat and maple syrup. We're renaming this game. It's not stop the cook anymore. It's like, (laughs) get the cook to stop cooking. Sorry. (laughs) This cook can't be stopped. This cook can't be stumped. But wouldn't that be better? It'd be better. <laughs> I like it. Melissa Clark, thank you. Uh, Josh Maharaj, thank yeah. you. Woo! Maddie Matheson, thank you. Yo, thank Suresh you. Suresh Doss, thank you. Thank you. To the beautiful people of Toronto, Ontario, Canada, thank you. Woo!